Okay, yeah, well, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> Here for today's last episode of Board Detailer and Paint Enhancer for Cars and uh, Motorcycles. <laughs> Here in Sharpsburg, Georgia. Hey. <sighs> well, I just spent, I don't know, what was it, a couple of hours? Y'all may remember seeing the photos or the video of the car. It was covered up. Oh, my goodness. It went a 60-something charger. That was cool. In front of my house. I got some car nuts living in my neighborhood, y'all. <clears throat> but this is the last episode. I'm done uh, for today. And I was going to go back over... What I did right quick and some of the products I used and what products I did not use and why. Um, this car, oh, there's three people watching, but I have no idea who you are. <laughs> Leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Oh, four people. <laughs> you may remember earlier, I rinsed this thing down with the power washer. Then I foamed it in some of the earlier episodes. <laughs> I did a little contact wash down on just on that panel there just to get off some stuff that I had slung onto that panel while buffing that motorcycle. So I got rid of, ah, I see that's Miss Kimberly there. But then I force air dried it with the heated dryer. Hey Kimberly, hey, 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 girly, girly. And after I dried it off, I pulled it in the garage to get away from the pollen and out of the direct sunlight. And then, <laughs> hey, Kimberly, I'm, I'm waving and everything. I wanted to just kind of show you all the results and the product that I used. I'd say took off 90% of what little water spotting there was there is still some on there from oh there's somebody else there I can't tell who that is from that, letting it sit outside with the pile and all that but some of that stuff Andy Mr. Andy Varney how are you sir some of that will have to be buffed off but I'm going to wait on that because I still got some redoing in certain spots with my optimum clear coat restorer but I was just giving y'all, <laughs> I know it's crazy, isn't it, Miss Kimberly? But I like to get that piling off, and it's gone. It's gone. Andy, all I did to this car today, it was covered and covered and covered. Hey, Miss Beth, and piling. I just power rinsed it, and I foam cannon did that, and I rinsed that off. Then I force air dried it with the, one of those little motorcycle dryers off of Amazon. It's a little beast. I'm telling you, I'm glad I bought that thing. And after I did all that, I did no contact wash on this car whatsoever except on that panel right there, which had some stuff that I had slung off when I was buffing on my motorcycle here. And that's the only place I did. Hey, Miss Glenda, I hope you're feeling better, sweetie, and I hope they're treating you better over there. And then I pulled it in the garage after all that, and what I, because I have a ceramic coating on here and I have on top of that, which you may be, some of you may be familiar with, I, I, I put this on top of the ceramic coating. It's designed for that. It's designed to go over the top of that. And some of you may remember a week or so ago, I experimented with this, which is actually a sealer. You may recall it worked very, very well. It's relatively cheap. It's a retail level sealant aerosol can. You spray it on your cloth, wipe it on, wipe it off, basically. It, very quick to apply and very effective. It's well worth the money. One of the few retail products is probably worth your money. The difference is... is longevity. I figure you'll probably get maybe 
a month or so out of that, depending on your environment, how off, how long your car has to sit outside and all that kind of stuff. But today, since I have ceramic coating and all that stuff, and I have the coating for the ceramic coating over the ceramic coating I used this product right here this product nor this product are available on the retail level you have to order them you can google Dallas paint correction and luxury microfiber towel which is where this came from and this is a top coat um, or I like to call it a last coat because a lot of people, you know, they'll wax their car, they'll put a sealant on it, whatever, whether it's retail or a pro level. And then they'll say, hey, that looks good. I'll put another coat. Well, most of the time when you do that, with few exceptions, you're wasting your time and your money. Because all you're doing is cleaning off the coat you just put on and putting another new coat on. This stuff here is designed as a top coat. It's designed to go on top of anything, anything you might have on your car, whether it be a wax, a sealant, ceramic coating, doesn't matter. Or if you got a SiO2 on there like that stuff over there, you can put this right over the top of it. It's relatively easy to use. Not quite as easy and quick as this was, but the longevity of this far exceeds the longevity of this even though this is more expensive i uh, probably cost two times or more what this costs but the longevity factor is the big deal for me as a professional uh you know if somebody just wants a real quick job i may use this on their car but and i used it on mine just as an experiment y'all may remember the can kept sliding off the hood it's so slick but i used this stuff today went around the car relatively quickly and I used this towel which is a high quality what I call an application towel you can see it's a little bit lower pile and then I used this towel also from this company which is very very plush extremely soft a high pile to buff it down with and when I say buff it I'm talking about just enough pressure to keep it on the paint you're not rubbing this stuff you're just applying it and then you're just buffing it off light 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 pressure so that stuff there I'll probably get four to six months out of it because my car stays inside a lot of the time depending on your environment you could get maybe a little more maybe less but another thing i wanted to make mention to you guys is i did not use these two towels doing this entire vehicle you fold them so that you know first you use this side then you flip it over on the next panel you use that side you open it up and then you use that side, that side, then you fold it inside out, the same thing. The same thing with the buffing towel, although that's not quite as critical. And then once I've used that up, I go grab a new clean one. Always work clean, people. Always work clean. I went through, let's see, three sets of these doing this car. Because I always wanted to make sure yeah, I was working with a clean towel. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Andy, the advantage I have is that I do have a high quality ceramic coating on here. And over the top of that, I have this high quality SiO2 over the top of that. And then I've had several different things over the top of that. And also this car has been done with the optimum clear coat restorer before I did all that. So that makes the maintenance of this car a little easier, Andy, when you do all that to it. Of course, most a lot of vehicles don't need the optimum clear coat restorer, but this is a cheap Mako paint job. It's been on there for years. It was on there when I bought the car three or four years ago. It's really pitiful. And the optimum clear coat restorer 
helped it a lot. It is essentially a wipe on self leveling clear coat, but it does take a little practice to get it right. And I've got some spots on here I've got to do over. The downside to that stuff is nine ounces of it by the time the smoke clears is a little over a hundred dollars. So yeah, if you got an extra hundred dollars or so, or you some and play with it, <laughs> or if you think your car may need it, bring it to me or send me photographs and I'll tell you. But, you know, like I said, there was no contact wash done to this car today at all. So it went relatively quickly. And, you know, force air dried it. And basically what I did, for lack of a better description, was use that stuff right there. He calls it a top coat protectant. I call it a last coat <laughs> because it'll go over the top of anything. And it provides what they call a sacrificial layer. Ah, it looks not bad, Andy. I, if you were here up close, ah, you know, you'd say, ah, it's all right. But, it's, you know, it's a crappy paint job. There's only so much that I can do with a crappy paint job. Like I said, I've still got some work left to do in certain spots. But I'm going to hold off on that because I have to order me some more of the Clear Coat Restorer in order to do that. Because I put that on my motorcycle as well. So I used it all up. <laughs> and I won't need but part of the can to redo parts of the car. And it doesn't keep well. Once you open it, the clock is ticking. It does not have a very long shelf life once you open it. But to do this whole car, if you got it right the first time, you won't even use the whole can. But there's a number of videos out there. I suggest strongly that you try it on a practice panel or something like that first. Because <clears throat> it does take a little practice to get it right. It's not really a DIY project, but it can be, if that makes sense to you. But anyway, folks, I was just showing you what I, how I finished up here. I had to put that stuff on the wheels. <laughs> that top coat or last coat protect and I put it on the wheels because they're ceramic coated as well. So I did that to get some of the water spots off. It wasn't many because of the forced air drying, but I got rid of, I'd say 95% or better of whatever water spotting was left, which they were minimum because my last rinse I did with a cordless power washer which draws the liquid from a siphon tube, and I used distilled water. The wa distilled water will not spot. But, out there today, you know, there's a lag time between you finish washing it and you get everything together, and you get the air dryer out before you can get the whole car dried. That pollen is constantly falling and getting in, and when you dry it, you know, the pollen leaves a little spot. And there's some spotting on it from prior stuff. And some of those will have to be buffed off. There's some I don't think can be chemically removed by any spot remover, so-called. Most of that stuff, in my experience, Andy, is a waste of money. Uh, either that or you have to rub yourself to death. You're better off just getting a very light polish, a finishing polish a higher quality one or a cleaner polish on the retail level a real soft pad on whatever buffer you choose and you can buff them off very quickly and trust me it's much easier <laughs> much easier but most of that chemical spot remover stuff does not work very well but one chemical that does work well on removing water spots if they haven't been on there too awfully long is you take Meguiar's wheel brightener, dilute it down with distilled water about half and half or maybe a little more distilled water and put it in a spray bottle and you can wipe most of the water spots right off. Don't let that stuff dry on your paint don't and then rinse it a little bit or use some optimum no rinse 
on there or something to that or quick detail or whatever you want so that you neutralize that McGuire's wheel brightener, but it will take the water spots right off. Trust me, I've done it many times. I've had customers come by and say, look, I really don't need my car washed or anything. I just want to see if you can get rid of these water spots. Because some people, you know, at work, they get hit by sprinklers or this and that and the other, and they get spots on their car. And I use that stuff to take it off. But, okay, folks, I'm going to go in and make me some supper. And I appreciate everybody that tuned in today. Hey, you know what? Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Make a comment down there. If you got a question, a suggestion, a criticism, anything like that, leave it in the comment section down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I do appreciate everybody. Thank y'all very much.